आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यूर ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे टूडे इज द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ फ्रीडम फाइटर गार्डी चेरला हरी सर उत्तम राव हु इज पॉप्युलरली नोन एज आंध्र तिलक ही वॉज बोर्न ऑन दिस डे इन एटीन एटी थ्री इन करनूल Rao was inspired by the ideologies of Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Bipin Chandra Pal and joined the freedom movement at a very young age. Maajinu gudangi ki malle pudanda ma kanna dalli ke mangala ratulu maajinu gudangi ki malle pudanda kadu pulo bangaru Rao finished his MA from Madras Christian College in 1906 while at the Teachers Training College of Rajamandri Rao and his fellow students attended a lecture by Bipin Chandra Pal inspired by Pal's speech the students wore badges inscribed with Bande Mataram to the college the next day Bande Mark Hunter the college principal objected and refused to admit the students until they removed the badges the students refused the principal dismissed rao who was a student leader from the college in 1908 rao started a telugu weekly newspaper called swarajya he criticized the policies of the british through his articles published in the magazine the british declared that rao's article biprit buddhi was an act of sedition and sentenced him to 3 years in prison in 1914 he became the secretary for the andhra division of the home rule league formed by bal gangadhar tilak and any besant in 1923 he joined the swarajya party formed by chitranjan das and motilal nehru gadi cherala hari sarvottam rao is considered as one of the pioneers of the library movement in andhra pradesh He nurtured the library movement in Telugu speaking regions. Rao was its president for a record 24 years. He had the rare distinction of being the vice president of the Indian Library Association Calcutta and the first director of adult education in the Madras presidency. It was the strength of the library movement and its philosophy that contributed to the Madras Public Libraries Act 1948. Rao also started and edited several publications and newspapers some of them are Andhra Kesari Navyogam Andhra Patrika Matru Seva Andhra Varta Panchayati Rajyam Nominated as the first editor of Andhra Patrika he stood for the national cause and laid an unshakable foundation for Telugu journalism That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi ka safar with AIR News. See you in next episode tomorrow.